James Hurt has lived near the corner of Jacoby Street and Ethan Lane in St. Helens for about four years. He describes the neighborhood as mellow and family friendly. Up until yesterday, it felt safe. That's when James noticed somebody had been inside his car. The glove box ransacked. He says his girlfriend's wallet was stolen and the garage door opener used to access his garage. Well, it's one door and then you're standing in my kitchen and, you know, that's... You know, my kids and I are asleep, asleep upstairs, you know. James says he felt attacked and victimized, and it turns out he's not alone. Since early Sunday morning, St. Helens police have taken more than a dozen reports of vehicle break-ins in at least five different neighborhoods. We're told at least two cars have been stolen, one from this property on Parkwood Drive. It's a crying shame especially in this area. Jim Jennings took a break from hanging Christmas decorations to tell us nobody deserves to be a victim of car prowlers, even if their cars were unlocked, as detectives indicated. A lot of people around here work hard every day just so they could have something. And then some low life comes out and takes it. So it's not good. James Hurt agrees. He's hoping officers are able to track it'd down the nice bad guys. To, yeah, it'd be nice to know that, that they were caught and that they, that's the people who did it. Authorities say there could be up to five suspects operating out of a white SUV. If you know anything about them or believe you're a victim, you're asked to contact the St. Helens Police Department. In the meantime, you're urged to park your car in the garage or behind a locked gate. If it has to stay outside, make sure it's locked and parked in a well-lit area. Reporting in St. Helens, I'm Mike Benner for KGW News.